now that Seth's gone home, I can message Cory back. I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. I, I kind of have a girlfriend now. Okay, I guess I should stop messaging you now. The truth is, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you either. What should I say to Cory? It's rude to be late. Are you okay? Cory is not okay. <laughs> he's currently failing to explain to me why he's arranging to meet other girls. This is Katie, his girlfriend. <laughs> Cory isn't zero. Because Violet's zero! <gasps> hey guys, it's Gabriella, and welcome back to another episode of Glitch Girl. If you haven't seen the other episodes in this series, they're right up there if you click the I or down below in the description. Let's jump right into this. Episode 5, The Pendant. So, we finally found Cory after all of this time! <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, wait. So first, little flashback. I was messing with everyone's phones because I was showing them that I actually had powers. It's taking selfies! Make it stop! Oh, snippity snap. Corey Lloyd. We need to talk. It's urgent. Grace, we have to fix their phones fast. What should I do? Message Corey back right away. Deal with the situation. Girl, you deal with the situation that you started. Okay, stay calm, everyone. Your phones will be back to normal in just a moment. You can do this, Grace. Just concentrate. Shouldn't she really have, like, practiced this before she did it in front of everyone? Is everything back to normal? Finally. Phew. I've only just discovered I have these powers. Okay, that's not something you should admit to everyone, Grace. I'll have them under control soon, I swear. We're being slaughtered in the streets by those droids. We ain't got time for you to practice. <laughs> this is a disaster. Should we try to convince them or just leave? That's a good question. Stay and try to get the crowd on your side. Leave before someone throws a rotten tomato. <laughs> Probably best that we just leave and come back. We should definitely get out of here ASAP. Agreed. Cause they really didn't really think this whole plan through. Thank you all for coming. Why haven't you gone already? Off, off, off. Yeah, guys, like real honestly, this is just embarrassing. Grace, Seth, you're the one who stood up for us. Thank you for being so supportive. You could have helped us some more. No, thank you for being supportive and this craziness. Thank you for being so supportive. No need to thank me. I want to thank you guys for having the courage to do this. My name is Violet. Violet Class. Nice to meet you. You shouldn't be backstage. What's with all these sassy answers? <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. In fact, I'd like to help you. Would you be interested in meeting me to discuss business? Should we meet Violet? Yeah, that sounds great. Not interested. What kind of business? Yeah, what kind of business? Money business. We'll take any help we can get. Okay, here's my business card. What do we need money for? Give me a call sometime soon and we'll arrange it to meet up. In the meantime, good luck. <gasps> what is happening? I am so confused. Later that night. Now that Seth's gone home, I can message Cory back. <gasps> I'm so happy I found you. Grace, I can't believe we're actually speaking to each other again. I've been trying to find you, but everything about the Electro Bit event has been so shady and kept under wraps. For two years, I've been worried that you died in that day. Did you get caught in the explosion? Yes, I did. And I gained superpowers from it. <gasps> what? I know, it's crazy. I want to use my powers to take down Zero. But first, I need to know if you saw Zero's face. I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. <laughs> because she hasn't been able to stop thinking about him. But at the same time, I feel like it's like a little bit more important that we focus on the fate of the whole entire city rather than the fate of our love life. I need to know if you saw Zero's face. I wish I did, but I'm sorry, Grace, I didn't. No, I really thought Cory would hold the key to finding Zero. But I did see something that could identify him. He was wearing a very distinctive chain. What? It was a gold chain <gasps> with a large purple pendant in the middle. What does this mean? Thanks, Corey. That's actually super helpful. You don't know how good it feels to finally talk to you again. I've been thinking about you a lot. Grace, there's something I should probably tell you. <laughs> what? That you're zero, Corey? I, I kind of have a girlfriend now. <gasps> Years based off of our 15 second conversation. 
conversation? He has a girlfriend? Oh, I understand. How dare you? No one. That's completely understandable. It has been two years. And we literally talked to each other for like two seconds. Oh, I understand. I can have a boyfriend too. In that case, I'd be careful about these messages, Grace. You probably shouldn't let him see them. <gasps> what does that mean? That's kind of weird. Don't worry, I won't. Okay, I guess I should stop messaging you now. This is like so weird. Like, I'm so, I'm like why does this feel so weird? Grace, wait. The truth is, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you either. This is a really tricky situation, but I really want to see you. Can you meet me at 7 p.m. tomorrow evening? <laughs> meet up with Corey tomorrow, be loyal to Seth and say no. Okay, first of all, Seth and I went on one date, okay? But the, the sketchier thing is that he has a girlfriend. So that's like a little weird, especially if he's like sneaking around behind her back. So I feel like if he doesn't have, like if he has a girlfriend, but at the same time, like I feel like we should meet and like talk about this whole Zero thing because I also feel like he might know more about Zero than he's actually letting on. Cause it's awfully convenient that he just happened to have to leave right before the explosion went off. So we're gonna go, but we're gonna go and get like intel, okay? We're not going as like a Corey. We're going as like a what's up, Corey? You tell us everything you know. <laughs> it's not gonna be like that. She's gonna be like, oh my god, I would love to. Let's get married. <laughs> yes, I really want to see you too. Okay, we meet at 7 p.m. on the corner where West Avenue and South Walk cross. It's an area that has been declared blue droid free. It should be safe there. Emphasis on the should. <laughs> the following evening. This will be the first time I see Corey in two years. I should totally wear that cute dress I've been keeping. It's perfect for this occasion. <laughs> Is it the same one she wanted to wear on the date? <laughs> oh, that's cute, but we're not paying for anything. Oh, that's cute. This looks nice enough. I'll just wear this. Besides, we're not going to impress anybody, okay? We're going to get information grades. Keep your head in the game. Oh, look at those cute, like, slits on the side. Huh, Corey's not here yet. I hope he's okay. Wait, I think my phone's buzzing. Oh, no! Grace? What should I say to Corey? It's rude to be late. Are you okay? No, are you okay? Are you okay? No. Corey is not okay. What? What? He's currently failing to explain to me why he's arranging to meet other girls. This is Katie, his girlfriend. Oh, oh snap. Oh, go taco. What should I respond? We're just friends. He's better out with me. No, we're just friends, Katie. We're just friends. Really? I read the previous messages. Stay away from my guy. You hear? Do not message Corey again. Oh, snap. See, okay, remember when I, when I mentioned that it might be awkward about the girlfriend? It's kind of awkward. <laughs> Tonight is ruined. I better head back home. Grace. <gasps> Violet, are you stalking me? Violet, what are you doing here? I'm supposed to be meeting a date, but I got stood up. What are you doing here? I needed some groceries. Got stood up too. I mean, I don't know how well we know this Violet person. It's a little suspicious that she's like, here, I'll get you money. So I don't feel like we should like, you know, tell her our full story. Needed some groceries. Wow, you sure dress up smart to do your grocery shopping. I'm a public figure now. I gotta look my best at all times. Hey, listen, what are you doing right now? I'm just about to head home. I know this sounds crazy, but wanna get some food? She's like, where are your groceries? <laughs> my treat. There's a nice Chinese restaurant just up the street. I'd hate to have gotten dressed up for nothing. What do you think? Should I go for Chinese food with Violet? No, I should go home. Sure, let's get food. Okay, let's go, but I'm like still suspicious. Sure, let's get food. Violet. What are you up to? <laughs> so your date turned out to be a jerk, huh? I guess you could say that. Must have gotten scared. I tend to give off a bit of an intimidating vibe. Intimidating? But you're so lovely. Well, not everyone thinks that. Hey, I think your phone's buzzing. Oh, I won't answer it, that'd be rude. No, please do, it could be important. I mean, I am a superhero now. <laughs> it's Seth, everything okay? Grace, I think we've been looking at this whole thing wrong. What? If both of Zero's screen's appearances, it's just a static image, right? It doesn't mean it's him. It could be an image he found online. And his voice, it sounds deep. 
a little too deep to be natural. It's clearly going through some kind of filter to conceal his identity. What are you getting at? Think about it. Think about it. A gold chain with a purple pendant? It wasn't a chain that Cory saw. It was a necklace. Grace, what if Zero isn't a he at all? What if Zero is a she? Wow, if that's true, that's pretty big. And what did I tell him everything about Cory? Anyway, I'll let you go. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, see you tomorrow. I <gasps> Cory isn't zero because Violet's zero. <gasps> Look at that scarf. Look at that scarf she's wearing. Okay, maybe there's a pendant underneath it. Maybe Violet is actually zero, and that's why she was all like, "Yes, guys, get that superhero," because she wanted us to like think that she's on our side, but really she wants to get close to us so that way she can know what our plan is and squish us like a bug because she's zero. Like completely innocent, but you know what? I'm spooked. Everything good? Yeah, all good. Seth has a very interesting theory about Zero. Excellent, please tell me. Wait, I'm being rude. Let me take this scarf off first. notifications on so you can know as soon as the glitch girl video is out again because you cannot miss it but until then check out the awesome videos on the screen to keep yourself entertained or you can click on the scories icon and head over there and watch some amazing videos all right guys ah, i have no idea what's gonna happen my heart is pounding but i'll see you later bye